video I made last year talking about the Ingenium Academy, and then toward the end of that video I was like... That's right, I went to the Ingenium Academy last summer, and as always, it was so much fun! And this time I filmed my experience there. So now we're going back... Ten months? I'm so behind. Whatever, I'm taking you down memory lane so that you can witness the amazing experience of being at the Ingenium Academy. Whoop! Hey guys, my brother and I just landed in London a little while ago because this week we will be at the Ingenium Academy, which means one week of music making and loads of fun. We're on our way to the Academy right now, but um, our flight was delayed, so my brother and I are literally the only two students in the car. But um, we're here now, and I'm super excited and ready to go, and I cannot wait to get started! We've made it to Winchester! It's 9pm, so we're just having dinner, and then I think we go up to our rooms, and honestly, that's it for today. Ooh, I have a room all to myself! A typical day consists of warming up both ourselves and the instruments. Then rehearsals with the different groups of musicians rehearsing in different rooms. An afternoon workshop such as gospel singing or music arranging more rehearsals warm down Oh, they're good, they're good. Slap! Slap! Oh! Slap! Slap! Alright, alright. Slap! Slap! If in doubt, slap. Are you dead? Slap! 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 And an evening activity. This is the field that they're all hiding in. We finally found them all after probably the most running I've ever done in my life. Oh, oh my gosh. With meals in between. There are also small breaks during which one can buy snacks or merchandise. All the while, we get to walk through the beautiful city of Winchester. Tuesday night was cabaret night. We could dress in fancy clothes, snacks and drinks were provided, and several students and staff members performed for our entertainment. <laughs> Wednesday morning we had a particularly fun warm-up. Go meant go, and stop meant stop, but... Green! Green meant jump, red meant get on the floor. Four, four, four. And a number meant getting into a group with that many people. Pretty straightforward, although it could get complicated if the number was a double digit. It was a number being called out and the loudness in the room that eventually got me eliminated. <laughs> oh gosh. One more! Oh. Uh, we don't want to do I think. <laughs> Oops. I didn't hear. Yeah, me too. We then rehearsed for 
enjoy the rest of the morning as usual. But in the afternoon, we took a bus down to Bournemouth. There we had lunch, walked around the town in small groups, and swam at the beach. we did some Scottish dancing. normal day in terms of rehearsals. One, three, for the afternoon workshop, all the students got together for some singing exercises. Then for our evening activity, we had a performance platform, an informal concert similar to cabaret night in that students could perform whatever they wanted to, different in that we needed to wear our clothes for Saturday's concert so that the staff could check if we had concert clothes ready. Also, no snacks or drinks here. Still an entertaining night. <laughs> Friday was the last full day of rehearsals for the week. In the evening, we had a barbecue dinner to just sort of relax and have fun before the next day. Then we had our usual end of the day announcements. And to finish off the night... And now, A water balloon fight. Unfortunately, it was getting a bit too dark for my camera to film anything, but I'll leave this clip here of the staff members screaming in terror as the students bombard them with water balloons. It's 
Saturday, last day of the week, meaning last day of Ingenium for some of us, and uh, for me it means probably my last year here. It's really sad that I probably won't be able to come next year, but uh, well, we're here in London. We're going to do a walking tour of the city, and then later tonight is showtime! The students were split into two groups when we arrived in London, but in the middle of the walking tour, we all meet up at Big Ben for our traditional group photo. So close. Yeah! Our last stop is St. James's Church Piccadilly, where we all have one final rehearsal. into your music making here. I think tonight is going to be an incredibly, incredibly special concert with some music making of the highest standard. What you've achieved in just a week um, to put together this repertoire is really quite something and you should all be incredibly, incredibly proud of yourselves. I want you to go up there tonight and I want you to do it for yourselves. You've made such wonderful friends here and you've had a wonderful time. And this is for you, this concert. It's, um, for some of you, I know lots of you are leaving tomorrow, very sadly. And so it's the last time you'll play together and you'll make music together. So put everything into it and enjoy it for yourself. And we'd just like to present them to you now um, before you before you go um, your ways either tonight or very early tomorrow morning. Everyone gets an award before leaving Ingenium. Some of these awards were for being excellent musicians. I have the Franz List Award for exceptional piano performance. Others for something more unique. The Rosetta Stone Award for speaking so many languages. And some were more on the silly side. Oh, I have got the Hetty for Hoover Award for the messiest room. As for mine, it's the Miller Award for vlogging absolutely everything. <laughs> Thus began the concert that the week had been leading up to. members come together for the concert's final song. <laughs> After two hours of performing, it's very bittersweet. We finished what we came for and are super proud of the music we've made, but for some of us, it's the last time we'll see all the amazing people we've met here. The rest of the night is spent taking photos with friends, hugging, sometimes a bit of both, and of course, saying goodnight and goodbye. a marine predator that swam in the Jurassic waters around present-day Europe. Its short neck and massive jaws gave it a bite force four times stronger than that of T-Rex. And we're back in my bedroom! Editing this video has been a roller coaster of emotions and nostalgia for me. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you can give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see my future videos, you can click subscribe. Although, to be honest, I have no idea when my next video is going up because my life is so busy. And to all the awesome people I've met at Ingenium, 
Thank you for making The Last Four Summers an absolute blast. I've had so much fun meeting you all, rehearsing and performing with you, and making unforgettable memories. Don't give up on your dreams, and remember, keep calm and make music. Bye!